presented by EA Game Changers. So shout out to them for letting me have this opportunity to upload, to post, to even get this, uh, you know, content. And like I said, this game is extremely fun. Go check out KMAX channel. I'm pretty sure he's going to have this up on his channel as well. Uh, so if you want to see his point of view, my point of view, um, you know, you have both sides. If you like this game and you want to see more content like this with me playing other pro players, smash that like button. And then also, uh, we might potentially have a rematch on Mutt. Mutt Madden 22, baby. Me versus KMAC. If you want to see that, comment below that you want to see it. I'm using the Bills. I'm not home. I'm away. And I'm going to be rocking the New England offense and the 4-6 defense. See right there, KMAC is going to be rocking the Baltimore offense. And I couldn't see what defense he was using. Um, I believe it's some type of 146 book. But as you see right here, this is the biggest thing they've added. Defensive and offensive focuses. I set mine to medium for um, offense and medium for defense. Because honestly, the middle of the field is, you know, like those intermediate routes. I could always lock up on those short routes and not always do people go deep. I feel like the intermediate part of the field is something that's attacked every play. That's my uh, focus. It doesn't show what your opponent's focus is. But yeah, that's a new addition to Madden 22 regs. And, you know, I love it, man. And, you know, you could really, like, sp specify what's going down to a T. So right here, this is the intro scene. Madden 22 exhibition. And you hear those sound effects. Super, super dope, man. And there it is, a little graphic of Madden 22. And here we go with the Glendale Arizona State Farm Stadium. And, you know, if you've watched, if you've been keeping up to date with this content, you know how significant home field advantage is, especially in regs. He is home, so I'm going to have to make sure, you know, not to get too out of the game. You know, if he has a couple momentum plays, I am could be down very early, and, you know, it could be a blowout potentially. And right here, man, here is the menu. And this is something that was implemented into next-gen Madden 21. But, man, oh, man, do I have to get used to it. And I feel like I've been, you know, decent with it so far, but I know I could be better. See, I'm just going through my substitutions. But like I was saying, the Bills defense, it's not the greatest. And if you watch my last video and where I rated all my regs teams, um, they're definitely, you know, the best or second best offense. Their defense is decent. They have like Jordan Poyer, Micah Hyde, Tremaine Edmonds, um, Tredavious White, decent de uh, defensive line. But it's, you know, it's still going to be pretty tough to get a couple stops versus the Cardinals' prolific offense. And we all know KMAC runs spread, something I've never been comfortable with. And, yeah, if you want to see high-scoring high gameplay, this is a gameplay for you. It's right here. I'm setting up some audibles. And I'm going to just always show this in the uh, towards the beginning of the year because I know you guys want to see this process. It's right here. We're going to audible 3-5 to 3-5 wide. Nothing really has changed yet. Trust me, uh, it will. And you guys got to remember, this isn't like a full release of the game. This is like, you know, just a, a build, I guess, a beta, you could call it. Um, definitely not the real build. It's right here. We play pretty decent defense, but our user is nowhere to be found. And there goes D-Hop on a 30, 40-yard dot. Um, I think it was like a post. A corner turned into a post because of the motion. And he had a lot of time right there. But, you know, I did send three, so I'm not really mad about it. I did think I was that was good defense. But just couldn't get home. Right here, I am trying to play some more coverage. That's one thing you should be able to do. With these linebackers and 4-6. Uh, the whole reason I'm using 4-6 is to get those safeties at linebacker. Right here, we man up a couple people. I thought it was def decent defense, but Tredavious White just continues to run backwards, um, even with his like zone abilities, and he gets cheated. The one thing I did notice is the swerving in this year's game is gonna be kind of tough to do. So, you know, I would I personally myself don't even do all those type of swerves. I just secure the catch because possession catches are so great in this game. There's no reason to do any of that. And obviously, he may have not known it. But right here, we're just going to send three with a couple contains. And I don't know if that was a bad, you know, uh, pass. It obviously was a bad pass. But I don't know if Poyer was there or not. He was there initially, and then he kind of ran away, which is pretty crazy because Poyer has like 88 zone for me. Um, nonetheless, I will take it, man. And here is a third down and 10. We sent five. No pressure. And everyone is open. My user kind of no man's land and that's one thing you guys will see right away uh throughout this gameplay throughout when you guys play is the user is tough the user the man i miss the user um you know it's something we will get used to trust me i'm just talking right now but i definitely miss having the ability to use a lot of things is right here i'm kind of just guarding one thing and that's really what you have to do man you have to stick on one route and you know uh, guard that route it's right here once more we're trying to send some you know uh, blitzes we're sending five once more just to see how it is in this year's game 
wide we all know is so great and you know we send five no one comes in he has uh you know a decent amount of time for that streak to be open so you know when you blitz you're gonna get a justy or aggressive with your uh, adjustments right there i played a soft squat cloud flat one or the other on that right side and he sent out five um i guess maybe i could have hovered closer or something but nonetheless no pressure at all and you know that's that's a tough pill to swallow man if i'm sending five which was so good last year and it's not coming in i don't know if it's because it's regs or my players are too slow or just that's how the game works but you know the more i play the more i will figure out about this game 7-0 k-mac great drive from him and right here man new england playbook this is the playbook i have been running um and you know very soon i will be dropping a top five offensives slash playbooks and top five defenses slash playbooks trust me new, new england is up there man you're gonna see a lot of new england playbook this year and there's just not even for the trips not even for the bunch not even for the u trips there's so many things in new england offense that you know you guys will be like wow that's actually a glitchy add-on or you know some simple things like red zone offense and you will see that type of stuff in this game so you know uh, this is a sneak peek of what i think will be you know the top five metas on offense defense slash top five playbooks offense and defense this may turn out to be a longer video but that's just my style of it man i want to break down each and everything that's why it makes me different from other people is like my competitive mindset and you know helping you guys understand and realize what game we're playing I feel like that's just how it's going to be for for me for always and you know um if you like it you like it that's awesome if you don't then i don't know what to tell you but here we go with his second down and 10. it's right here man he is in a heavy blitz look i really don't know what this is um but you know he sends up this blitz he hovers with his user as you see right there cole beasley with that slot apprentice post but it doesn't matter we decide to go to digs on that wheel route and those wheel routes out of verticals are back this year man uh, they are very very efficient if you run bunch you know how good verticals is when the wheel route is good and you know you add that wheel route back to kind of you know beating those thirds um and you'll see a lot of play calls of verticals this year i don't know i don't think you guys understand how op it's going to be is right here we are going to run a little bit of pat sale trying to just move and groove and we absolutely get hummed at um this blitz that he's running is pretty effective and i'm not gonna lie i hadn't seen this at all i didn't even think blitzing was good but you know i decided to block everyone and he still came in free but nonetheless it's you know him having chandler jones out there is super super slow and it helped me quite a bit it's right here we're gonna just move the ball um right at the 50 yard line we're gonna try to look for matt Breida on this play and there he is matt Breida, 95 speed when you have someone like chandler jones out there who's primarily a pass rusher and that's it um and i have someone like matt Breida just absolutely torching him he's gonna have to make an adjustment on that guys like i said earlier um i've seen a lot of k max switching up his offenses defenses it's right here we're gonna hit cole beasley slotomatic slot apprentice just beautiful versus man coverage we end up torching him getting all the way down to the nine right there he was in one four six so you know he's been trying to blitz heavy a lot this game a uh, couple play calls of heavy blitzes out of four three a couple play calls of one four six blitzes right there cole beasley super effective and this is a nice ad the fans are back the crowd is back we haven't seen that in a while and that's just super awesome to see it's right here here is one of my favorite play calls in the new england playbook for the red zone we're supposed to get out and out to the edge right there with josh allen but it just so happened to be that Buda Baker is that guy. But you see right there, QB power. That's going to be very, very OP in the red zone, guys. If you're going to run trips, I suggest running New England Book. You have a nice couple gimmicks, um, and that's one of them right there. Someone like Spamming Buttons is going to love that play. It's right here, we are going to run verticals, and there goes Devin Knox wide open. Uh, he decides to blitz in the red zone. And like I said, man, blitzing is just, it just takes too long to get there. Uh, Devin Knox wide open. We decide to tie this game up. Guys, I want you to pay attention to the top middle corner. Uh, not even corner. The top middle. The momentum factor. Uh, right now, it's dead neutral. It's right here. We try to go for a pick. And the ball hawk. This is just a bad habit that I have. I'm so used to acrobats everywhere that I could kind of dive. Um, obviously, only one person on my team has acrobat. And that's Trey Day. And, you know, me holding wide right there put me out of position and gave him like five extra yards. Nonetheless, it was still a great dot, but I want you guys to pay attention to the momentum in the top uh, middle as right now the momentum is on his side due to him being home and you know him scoring first is right there pancake city um, I, I don't know if this is a like accurate thing. I will have to test it boys is um, When you like send two, so send two seems to be dead to me guys when you send two and even if you do blitz your user you could still get pancaked and that's a great ad by EA 
a lot of Sen2 users last year. Um, it's kind of going to be non-existent in my opinion due to, you know, first of all, not getting sheds. And second of all, not being able to, you know, stop the run. It seems like, and obviously it's a small sample size. I'll get do some testing and, you know, I'm sure you guys will do as well. But sending two definitely seems dead to me. As right, so here we go, man. Big third down and five. I don't even know what this formation is. It's in the Baltimore playbook, however. And we make some great adjustments. I don't know if you peeped what I did. I cross man my linebacker on the left onto his in route. And then, um, you know, I had contains out there on the field. Contains did their job slowing down Kyler Murray. Fourth and five. I, I don't know why I called the timeout. It's just one of those things that, you know, you get hyped, uh, you get a sack, and then you're going to just spam some buttons. I accidentally spammed hike or tie, tie that timeout, excuse me, is right here. We're going to try to get a little bit of Justy. Once more, we're sending the blitz, and no one comes in. That's crazy to see. And there goes Trey White, one of my best corners. Just, I mean, I'm not going to ask for a third to play it, but maybe he could have played it better, and I could have got a hit stick. But nonetheless, sending five, I guess I could have maybe used a rush or something, but I was just so used to send five actually coming in um, that right there, he just had all the time in the world. And that's, I don't know, that's going to make a lot of you guys happy and a lot of you guys mad. Because right here, he's going to run a nice little trick play. And Kyler Murray actually gets out um, in space, but it doesn't really matter. We end up holding him to yard. That's right here, man. He is in this close formation. Um, and once more, I'm going to try to send the dogs. And this time, I believe I do send the extra slot cornerback off the left. I'm just thinking, how can I get pressure? And, of course, I actually just end up sending three right here. And look at my user, man. I actually, I get just mixed up, man. And that's one thing about the user, man. If you're, like, late on anything, you're going to be late. And I was completely out of that play. It was just a mixture of a bad user plus, you know, just users in this in general just not being able to maneuver as well as they once were able to. And, you know, it's something I'm going to have to get used to. A lot of people are going to have to get used to. It's right here. We get glitchy with the user, man. We decide to make a user play. That part hasn't changed. That's so funny. I was talking bad about the users, and I get I just absolutely jumped like 10 feet in the air and snagged that tight end seam streak. Um from Max Williams, I believe, and that part hasn't changed. You can still jump up and get some crazy lurks. It's just the maneuvering from left to right, up and down. It's going to be very tough for you guys in general. As right here, we have a free play, and we decide to hit Emmanuel Sanders, newly added to the Buffalo Bills, on that little nice C route. And you know we're going to obviously decline. It's right here, guys. First down and ten. We decided, you know, just run it a little bit. We have Matt Breida, 95 speed running back. And we have not really been able to get him the ball too much. We'll gladly take our six yards. Right here, guys, running a little spacing switch, getting Cole Beasley on that post. Slot apprentice, slot matic whatever it may be. Right here, there goes Brita. And those running back outs and ins, just wait on it, man. I'm going to make a fire video on it very soon. Uh, that's all I got to say, running back outs and ins. Right here, going back to the wishing well of verticals once more. I'm just trying to get digs on that wheel route and or, you know, that post. It's right here. We actually had digs. I don't know if you guys saw it. Um, it's something I haven't been used to it, gotten used to yet. But if you run man, those wheel routes, they're going to be cooking uh, here and there. I'm not going to say all the time because you guys got to remember this is regs. Digs is like a 97 overall compared to, you know, their lower rated, all, uh, lower rated cornerbacks at the Cardinals. And if you want a full roster breakdown of my top five teams in Madden 22 regs, Go check out my one of my previous videos. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description. It's right here. We're going to motion Cole Beasley, trying to get him in space with that slot matic And, you know, we actually had him maybe, but he gets back. And somehow Dix gets backed as well. It's right here, man. We're in, need to, we are in dire need of getting this third down, man. We don't want to kick threes or settle. And maybe we might not even be in field goal range. But let me know what you guys think. Did I have Cole Beasley over the top? We decide to take our five yards or seven or whatever it may be with Josh Allen. Um, he is so good, man. Josh Allen is so good with that gunslinger escape artist combo. EA just did a beautiful thing adding all these QBs with gunslinger. Right here, we're trying to you know move the clock a little bit. Decide to run and nope. Isaiah Simmons blows it up. And notice my momentum bar went down a couple ticks. If you missed that, rewind 10 seconds. I was almost near my first momentum uh you know ability or x factor whatever it may be i'm not even too sure what it was but you know due to me getting tackled right there i lose it all and right there just a blown coverage those deep halves just they're not that great right now um, i'm sure when the final build is there 
that those deep halves will be fixed. But right here, guys, I told you about this nice play, and we're going to run it. QB power. Who else would you want to run it with besides Josh Allen? This is like one of the best QBs to run it with. And right there, we are gone. See you later, Josh Allen. And now we have our first momentum activated home team receivers get incorrect routes at times um here go the stadium advantages and disadvantages so you know just because you're home doesn't mean you're always going to get the boost now um when k-mac is on offense he's going to have some tough time seeing what routes are on his receivers or you know some receivers may just not have the ability to be routed and that's just uh regs and you know i'm sure this is going to be a mutt too a little bit but this home field advantage is crucial no matter if it's offense or defense or you know away team or home team right here guys we do not want k mac to score we decided to mix in a little bit of man coverage just a little bit man i'm not going to spam this because this is easily uh, it's going to be easy to beat this year man coverage as you see right there a little bit of man a little bit of zone uh and you know i thought this was going to be a bag and it just so happens to be a great dot uh, my guys just couldn't stick. Maybe if I put some contains out there, it would have been a tougher play to make. But nonetheless, we just got to move on to the next play and not give up any points because this is this is where you, I get the ball at half. You know, if I get the ball ha at half with any type of lead, I feel super comfortable. Um, and right here, we're just trying to play some more coverage out of this 3 through 5 wide, a little bit of cover 3. And, you know, I manned up D-Hop because he's his number one primary receiver by far. Um, he's barking out the audibles. And right here, got to just eye on R1, and we've just played pretty decent defense. He's going to actually get some yards off the QB scramble, and that's how good Kyler Murray is. That contains with some decently fast D linemen, and he just outran him. That's right here. I get quick hiked. We try to use a rush, and just no sheds, no pressure at all, and he's going to be able to get out of bounds. So just a tough couple breaks uh, sequence of events right there. AJ Green is torching us this drive. And right here, once more, trying to get set up very fast as fast as i can and i get quick hiked again and he actually makes a good read right here but we tackle him in bounds which is huge in this situation and you know i'm just i'm like i'm not having any of it i'm gonna call a timeout i'm not trying to get agged by d hop or aj green right here just getting some hot routes out there manning up aj green and my slot corner decides to follow but you know this is actually pretty good defense that's right here he's gonna get tackled out of bounds i thought to me that was inbounds i know it kind of glitched out right there definitely seemed inbounds but i guess they called it out of bounds thus giving him another play and you know this might be this might be a crucial play due to that fact and it is actually going to be a dot from kmac wheel route to deandre hopkins and he makes a wise decision of possession catching just a dot from d hop kyler to d hop best connection probably in regs at this moment we're just trying to get a couple points right here try to get lucky you know, get three out of half, and guess what? We don't have Matt Breida there. It doesn't really matter. We're not going to be able to get anything going, and we're going to go into half with a 14-14 ball game. See right here, guys, the next-gen stats update, you could update your, you know, um, whatever your primary focus on offense and defense is at half. And in Mutt, this is going to be the ability to change your abilities on offense and defense um, at halftime as well so you know a whole bunch of new updates this is pretty crazy in my opinion um, you could definitely get glitchy with it and you know i love that man because you know let's just say first half you're getting dominated in a certain aspect you want to switch it up you're going to be able to do that and you know adjustments is everything in a game of madden and i'm glad they have that with the way i've been playing offense i feel very comfortable um i know i got like one pretty crazy fluky red zone stop with the user but, you know, as long as I keep scoring or slash don't turn it over, I believe we will be all right. And, you know, I don't know what happens here. I guess I called a screen, um, which wasn't a bad play call at all. I just completely thought I was in a different play. But that kind of just gave him a little bit of momentum. And, you know, this just lost me a yard. It's definitely not the play I wanted to call. But, you know, Isaiah Simmons, just look at him, just uh, play wreck and everything. He didn't even click on right there. And he makes the play by himself. It's right here at second and 11. Pretty bad situation. And look at Byron Murphy jumped this wheel route. And it just not a great read at all. And just like watching that, I'm like, yeah, why did I even throw that? I think I was trying to wait a little bit and see if I could pass it towards the sideline. And, you know, just the answer was no. Um, Josh Allen can even, you know, like even his release, maybe even with A-Rod too, that's just a book. Just an absolute book. And, you know, it just sets him up in a really nice position. He has his momentum boost on the top right corner. Why do I keep saying top right in the top corner? Right here, we're going to send three, man up a couple guys, 
and R1 still frying me. That's crazy. My user's somewhat there. I manned him up, and you know the user left to right. It's just super hard to get there. And K Mac is cooking now. It's right here. We sent five at six actually, and you know we make some decent uh, you know user play. But, you know, just a bad click on by myself allows him to get, you know, 10 extra yards. It's right here. We send the dogs again. We try to get glitchy with our user, but we just can't, man. And uh, it's, I'm going to be super stubborn. I'm going to continue to send heat because, you know, that's just what is engraved in my mind. Um, but, you know, the more I play, the more I'll realize, oh, I have to do this. Oh, I have to do that. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I can't do that because there's limitations, at least right now, with what you can and can't do on defense. It's right here. We decide to run man. And uh, this is a decent play art. You know, I'm just trying to contain everyone. And we do have contains on the field as well. Um, and it ends up actually being a pretty good defense. We d click R3 to send the guy. And he tries to get a bounce back. I don't know who, if that was to D hop or to the tight end. But nonetheless, I don't think it was completely open. We will take that uh, throw out of bounds. It's right here. We descend to decide to send the heat. And he goes back to that same D hop wheel route and hangs on to it. Trey White couldn't make the play for us great play and there goes d hop again man seeing this like i'm like this is my team i want to use the cardinals and you know that's just how op they are d hop is just gonna go get it every single time in the red zone right here man we are in need of a great drive and he sends pressure and just an absolute book again we get throw under pressure and i don't even know what was going through my mind i think i was trying to you know roll out or wait and you know me being in the middle field kind of hurt because Simmons was just in perfect position uh, to guard it and you know just great defense once more see right here like three people came in with something I wasn't used to I had the running back on the left side um, I kept him on a check and release sometimes check and releases come back to hurt you when you you know when they send out and you get pressured nonetheless great defense and we gotta have to hold the three uh, as you see right there K-Mac has his full momentum on the top of the middle of the screen um, so when I get back on offense, you will definitely be seeing uh, the momentum take play. So can we please make something happen on offense now? Back-to-back -back possessions, back-to-back -back plays, I threw a pick. And you see right here, my tight end has that little exclamation point. That's basically like uh, my him getting confused on what route he's on slash like what he's doing. He's right there. Great play to Cole Beasley. And we're going no huddle, man. We are in urgency. Uh, we're going to, I guess you could call this pop at this moment in time. Uh, we're definitely going to try to need to come back right here look at that wheel route that's what i was looking at man it was more open towards like that 15 yard mark that was more open um toward this out of bounds like a pass lead out of bounds but you know i just i'm not having got those reads down yet haven't got those uh pass leads down yet so you know definitely gonna will work on that but this game is far from over boys it's right here we are just going back to the same play again and this is what happened. Uh, Cole Beasley gets tired. So I actually have Sanders out there and slot. And he does not have slot apprentice. That's why I had that, you know, little out route or in route combo. And once more, we go no huddle, man. And this point, I was like, yeah, I got to score. I got to score. Um, I'm getting popped by 10 plus points. And right here, we are going to try to hit Diggs. He has a nice click on. We run to the inside with Josh Allen and we smartly slide. And we got one last play before the second or the fourth quarter hits. We're looking for Diggs and Brita, Diggs or Brita, and we decide to hit D uh, Brita right there. And 95 speed just beats him out. And that was pretty glitchy to, you know, get in that end zone. Uh, so basically saved me a play. You know, not like completely in it, but we're not completely out of it. We're still gonna have to get a stop versus spread in Madden 22, boys. Right here, K Mac looks like to be in a split close type of set. We get quick hiked again. And we decided we actually just choose the wrong side. Um, I guess, you know, in reality, I trusted Trey Day to make a play with that acrobat and, you know, that uh, all those abilities he has, but he just was not able to. So, you know, I, I, I would have probably guarded the same thing again. As you saw, though, he had a clear, wide open touchdown. It's right here. We're going to try to use a rush. And then again on the left side, I have no idea what happens. I think I clicked R3 one, one too many times. You know, when you click R3, it's just going to send someone from your zone defense. And it sent my outside cornerback, so thank God he didn't see that. Right here, guys, running a little bit of Mabel to the right side and manned up the left side. He just has so much time to make that read. And usually those thirds kind of stop and just play that, but not in regs. They continue to drift back. And, you know, once more, he's in the red zone. So it's so, 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 so much tough to get a stop 
in this game mode and K Mac is just walking down the field. We both are just walking down the field. It's right here. When I feel like whenever he runs, it's a good thing for me. Cause you know, he just hasn't had any success running the ball yet. And I feel like he's wasting a play. It's right here. We're gonna try to send five once more. User in with Hamlin. Cover three, same type of ordeal. Um, I'm just so used to this cover three and the send five type of look from you know all the Maddens, uh, Madden 21 especially. And, you know, that was pretty good adjustments. But guess what? He has Andy Isabella with 95 speed. And my user was in quicksand. Great tackle nonetheless. Third and eight on the way. And this is the play of the game, boys. One of the abilities Micah Hyde has is pick artists, I believe. We man him up. He decides to go to D-Hop. We activate. We light up. But no interception. Wow. We just got extremely cheated. He has pick artists. Like, I, I, at least I think. Don't quote me on that. I believe he has pick artists. And that's the only thing that makes sense to him lighting up right there. But nonetheless, it's a fourth and eight. K-Mac decides to go for it, which I probably would go for it too. Um, it's just super hard to get a stop. We're going to, you know, run the same type of defense. And right here, look at our one. Why does my guy come down? Why does he not react? He was in perfect position to make the play. I guess I could have clicked on or something. And I didn't click R3 or anything. I think it's because he kept stepping up in the pocket. And it did that auto send uh, the zone corner. And, you know, it's just a tough, tough scene. It's right there. Just a great, beautiful play. High ball to A.J. Green off the RPO zone. Slant. And A.J. Green has been cooking me this whole game. I'm surprised he didn't use Rico Gafford. He could have made some plays with Rico Gafford, but maybe he just doesn't know about Rico. And if, like I said, if you want to check out my last video, I break down all the ratings, all the rosters, all the players from my top five regs teams in Madden 22. Right here, we're trying to bounce back. And um, what was happening with Burita right there, Burita, was um, I was trying to put him on an out route. And he'd run in an in route or he'd be on a swing. It's because the crowd volume is so loud that, you know, the receivers sometimes get mixed up with the routes. Nonetheless, we dot up to Cole Beasley on the run. Verticals is a beautiful play. And here we go, man, trying to play with that tempo. As we quick hike him right here, a little bit of pat sail action and boom. Beautiful the digs. We're going to just try to run towards the out-of-bounds marker, but still get as many yards as we can. And this game is far from over. We're just It's going to come down to us getting a stop. And there's the signature from Stefan Diggs. He's a beast. It's right here. This is Josh Allen's release on the run. It looked pretty glitchy to me. Um, you know, he doesn't have that A-Rod release, but he doesn't have that A-Rod release on the run either. So I feel like Josh Allen going to be able to throw a lot of things on the run. It's right here. Just a terrible read. We try to get glitchy with a high ball. And Diggs was having trouble getting separation versus like match or man. Um, especially on those cuts. Just something I'll look out for in the future. Um, just not just not a great read at all. It should 100% been picked off. And right here, we just have an open touchdown to Brita. And we're going to have to try to get a stop. So k -Mac decided to run the ball on the first play. Um, which, you know, I'll surely take. As you see, it's a second and 12. This is where we're going to try to get our stops. We decided to send that extra slot corner, Taron Johnson, off the left edge, number 24, user in with Hamlin. I maybe should engage with the guards. That's right here. No one came in. I believe he blocked his tight end. Um, they had to have been, you know. There's no way Sen6 would have came in. And just an easy dot to, I believe that was Muhammad right there. And, you know, this game is looking completely bleak for us. We have, like, a couple of chances left. He decides to pass. We play aggressive defense. And there goes Andy Isabella. Dot, dot, dot. GG's in the chat to my man K-Mac. And, you know, he just he just made the plays when they needed to be, they needed to be made. Sorry right there. Um, I sent six. I played a hook zone on the right safety. No middle third. And that's what's going to happen. We end up actually scoring pretty fast. Uh, I think I believe, I believe I ran verticals or something. But here we go. The heavy Panther trying to go for two to cheese the victory. You know, if we get the onside, we would have kicked three. But he holds the door. Here we go. We still have one last chance to get an onside kick. We have Tyler Bass. One time, give him the fluky. You get the fluky here in the beginning of the year. You're going to get the fluky always for the rest of the year. And let's see if we got it. I don't know how to. I don't think I've ever recovered an onside kick. And it was actually a pretty good kick. But D Hop, one of the best players you want right there, secures the dub, secures the game. GG's in the chat to KMAC. So that was mo uh, more of a longer video, but that's my one of my first Madden 22 regs games. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I had a lot of fun playing and I had a, fun, a lot of fun reviewing and breaking down the you know plays that were made and were not made for you guys. 
Um, if you do enjoy these type of high level breakdowns, please leave a like. It means a lot to me as I'm going to try to post as much as I can for the upcoming Madden 22 season. Be on the lookout for some high level content on how to improve your game, just as in like, you know, uh, ideas and thoughts, playbooks, all that type of stuff for early Madden 22 content. Once more, thank you to Game Changers. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. See you soon.